The Guardian reports that on the night of November 4, 2017, all the guests were forcibly evicted from Re Carlton, the most expensive hotel in Riyadh, to stay in another hotel. As many as 30 dignitaries, including several members of Saudi Arabia's royal family, were arrested and detained at the hotel. The New York Times reports that more than 500 people have been arrested for corruption. Those in the royal family who have not been arrested have also been banned from leaving Saudi Arabia. Prince Mohammed bin Salman is at the center of a power struggle between the Saudi royal family. The 32-year-old prince has been proving for a long time that he is concentrating power in the country. Last June, Mohammed bin Salman removed the then Crown Prince Mohammed bin Nayef and became the Crown Prince himself. In other words, in the absence of King Salman bin Abdul Aziz. His son Mohammed bin Salman will be the king. Bin Nayef was the biggest obstacle to Bin Salman's rise to power. According to a BBC report, King Salman is now 81 years old. And his condition is reported to be critical. In this situation, it was very important to replace Salman's son Bin Nayef. Bin Nayef is not young. The 58-year-old member of the royal family held several other important titles in addition to his responsibilities for internal security. In one fell swoop Mohammed bin Salman snatched all power from him. Many believe that the three naifs held important positions in many parts of the country. As they held important positions for many years. Some felt that the events of November in an attempt to counter-coup the supporters of bin Nayef in Saudi Arabia indicate that in the last four months Mohammed bin Salman has ousted so many princes and their supporters from power. Although it is difficult to say in the same vein, the death of another prince in a helicopter crash at the same time did not go unnoticed. However, the news of the Saudi royal family's infighting seems to have shrunk in the international media. All the Western media are now reporting on Saudi-Iranian relations, which is rapidly covering up the country's extremely weak internal position. On November 4, a missile was fired from Yemen into the Saudi capital, Riyadh. Al Jazeera quoted the Saudi news agency SPAR as saying that the Saudis said it was shot down with the help of Patriot missiles. Yemen's Houthi revolutionaries have claimed responsibility for the attack. They say the Birkin-2H missile has a range of more than 600 kilometers. Just two days later. Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman said that the handing over of the missiles to Yemen was significant in light of Iran's declaration of war against Saudi Arabia. However, the current situation in Riyadh did not end there. Lebanon's Prime Minister Saad al-Hariri resigned on November 4, the same day as the current situation in Lebanon. Hariri also announced his resignation from Saudi Arabia. Al Jazeera reported that Hariri was called a Saudi neighbor. He is also a citizen of Saudi Arabia. Hariri said there was a conspiracy to kill him. He also accused the Iranian-backed Shiite group Hezbollah of creating another state within a state. Two days after Hariri's resignation, Saudi Minister Thamer al Savan said Lebanon had declared war on Saudi Arabia by forcing Hariri to step down. He says the Lebanese people must choose between peace and Hezbollah. While it is interesting to talk of a simultaneous declaration of war against Lebanon and Iran in three days, it raises questions about what the Saudi government can do, or will do, against Iran. The Saudis are still at war in Yemen. The Saudis will not give up on Lebanese politics. Hariri went to the coalition government with the Iran-backed Hezbollah. The Saudis are unlikely to do much against Lebanon. They may try to find a place to negotiate with the larger Hezbollah.
it is not uncommon for Riyadh to try to cover up the rift between the Saudi royal family and Iran. But the role of Iran is significant. Zayman and resigned from there, so Iran is not going to be separated from the subsequent events. Saudi Arabia's economy has been in a shambles since the fall. Although Yuvraj bin Salman has announced his plan for 2030, many are not confident in it. The country's impending reliance on oil sales, its inability to provide employment for Saudi youth, its inability to educate the Saudi people to run the country's industries, and other serious issues have shaken Saudi Arabia as a state, raises questions about the future. In this situation, tensions with Iran will only be used to divert the attention of the Saudi people. Needless to say, the regional and global powers will keep a sharp eye on the royal family feud. Finally, if you like our video, please like, comment and share. Also don't forget to subscribe.